I mean, I've always had a, an interest in the Second World War, and mainly from this perspective that, you know, that a lot of English people say that, oh, you're Germans, German, that they have a sort of like, almost racist thing against Germans and, and saying things like, you turned a blind eye and you let all these things happen. And it's not true. I mean, I've read loads of stuff about um, Germans trying to fight, Germans harboring Jews, Germans help it. We all, there, there are stories there. And there's more stories, and there's probably loads more that I don't even know about, but they didn't all sit back. A lot of them did do something and got killed. So you didn't hear about them, or it didn't work. Their, their uprising or their, their um, anti-establishment behaviour didn't come, didn't, they, they were nipped in the bud. I mean, Nazis controlled the whole country and other people's countries as well. So, that, so I just found it, uh, my friend Sarah De Vincenzi bought me this book for Christmas it's called The White Rose, and it's the story in detail of what happened before, during and after. And she said, I know, I know you'd like, I like this. And I did like it and I was so inspired by it that I had to write a poem about it and get my feelings out there. And it's the first historical poem that I've ever written. And so, but it was there and I just had to put it down into words. Is there a sense of responsibility when writing about topics like this? Yeah, yeah. I think you... I only write about things I feel strongly about, you know, whether it's politics or some comedy, like, as you know, so I do. And, uh, but every single one, whether it's historical and it's tragic, or it's about someone's life, uh, a real person, I, I take it very seriously and I do it and then I go back, I, I leave it to rest and then I go back a day later and uh, um, it's, yeah, it's a responsibility when you're, uh, when you're writing these things because you don't want someone saying, oh, it didn't happen like that, that's wrong, you know. And how does it feel to win? Oh, it's great. It's just like, it's like going to the Oscars. You go there and you don't know. You know you've won something. And there's Jackie Anderson there, and we all sort of have a laugh because sometimes she wins it and sometimes I win it. And, you know, the pair of us have got to know each other because of that. And uh, so we both really support each other. But it was such a good turnout. It's really growing. That room was full of people and young people. And there's a missing category, though. It's like the teenagers, the sort of late teens. They're not writing, and they're the ones that must be full of angst. That's, I used to always write stuff that, at that age. But they're the ones I think we, the uh, teachers need to sort of like get on to that, that age group because it's really growing, the poetry scene in Gibraltar. I'm really chuffed, really pleased.